Let's talk about setting up folders, which is a really valuable thing to do in Oracle. Now, the first thing to look at is whether or not you can actually set up folders because not every form will allow you to select or to create a folder. And so the thing to look at is to look for rather is to look for this little icon right here. Now on mine, for whatever reason, the image is super small, but that's actually a folder image. And on yours, it should be bigger. But as long as you have this little icon here, and it's going to be always be at the top left of your of whatever form that you're in. If you see that folder icon, that means that you can create folders. OK, now the rules about creating folders are that you can definitely always create folders for yourself. OK, they're called private folders. You can, depending on your access, you can actually create folders for other people as well. And those are called public folders. OK, so but by default, Everybody gets to create their own folders. If you create a folder using your user ID, somebody else who logs in using another user ID is not able to see your folder unless you have the access to give it to them, which you may or may not have. Okay. So, but at the very least you can create folders for yourself. So basically what you need to do is really simple actually. What you're going to do is you're going to set up your view of the um, the screen the way you want. All right. And that's really what a folder is. It's just another word for a private view of the particular screen. So why I say a view is because you can actually hide columns or add certain columns. If you always, you know, need to look at certain columns, you can certainly um, customize the view of the screen and you can save it as a folder. And whenever you need to go to, you know, do your work, you can bring up that particular folder and you have exactly everything you need in front of you all the time. All right. Um, so, for example, in this case, I don't really have a customer pay taxpayer ID, so it doesn't serve me to show that column as taking a valuable real estate on my payables work or my invoice workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that column. First of all, make sure your cursor is in the very column that you want to hide. And I'm just going to go uh, folder and hide field. OK, that's all I'm going to do. And as you can see, that column has now disappeared. Now, PO number is pretty important, but let's say that I want to always see my invoice numbers first. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag my invoice numbers over to the um, the third column, my PO number, even though I don't have a PO number for my three invoices, particularly because I actually haven't finished creating the whole entire invoice record. So that PO number will populate as soon as I hit match, but that's going to be covered. Like I'm not covering payables functionality. I just want to teach you how to navigate well in Oracle. So I'm actually not going to complete this invoice, but just know that PO number is really important if you're looking at invoices. Okay. So um, trading partner, supplier number, supplier site, these are all really important uh, columns when I'm going to look at invoices, but maybe tax control amount is, I don't much care about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. Okay. And maybe withheld amount is not pertinent to me. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that. Okay. So enough about hiding. Now let's show some stuff, right? So whereas you can hide, you can also show additional columns that are actually not part of the default set of columns for the invoice workbench. And this obviously is going to differ to whatever form you're on in Oracle. They You can have the option to show different columns. Those columns will be different. They are actually dependent on how the data is stored and what that table looks like in the database. To show additional columns, all you're going to do is go to folder and go to show field. Okay. And look at this, you guys, I can add approval status. I can add batch name. I can add all sorts of different fields that are there in the database and they're there most likely is data in here. If your organization it chose not to use that setting or use that functionality within Oracle, then there may or may not be data in these some of these fields, but you get what I'm saying. Like employee number, for example, well, that's irrelevant to a payables invoice because a payables invoice, you know, assumes that you have a trading partner, like a supplier and not an employee, right? So obviously that would be 
empty. But you see what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in approval status just for fun. Okay. And click OK. And as you can see, it's added itself to the very end of my invoice workbench. And so what I can do now is I can either use the foreheaded arrow and just click and drag it over to exactly where I want to be. Okay, so let's just say I want to put it right next to PO number, okay, approval state status. That's pretty, you know, meaningful to me because that just tells me whether or not I can go ahead and release this invoice for payment. Cool. 